Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to go over um, some hand tool techniques, uh, specifically this frame saw um, and using a curfing plane which has a saw blade, a saw handle, but has the body style of a traditional plane. It has wood screws, wood nuts, and a wooden fence. Um, the, both of these blade, these saw plates here were made and sharpened by Bad Axe Saw Works um, out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. And these things are savagely sharp. Um, they made the uh, saw plate and the hardware for this uh, curfing plane. And they also made all the hardware and the saw plate for this frame saw. So this comes as a kit and all you got to do is make the, uh, the curfing plane body and um, your frame saw body. It's a really good kit, it comes sharp as heck. And uh, Mark Harrell with uh, Bad Axe uh, Toolworks does a great job of, of putting out uh, putting out good stuff out of there. So, um, both of these, uh, the frame saw and the curtain plane, is based off of designs from, from Tom Fidgen's second book, The Unplugged, the Unplugged Wood Shop. And if you don't have this book and you're going to do any type of woodworking, hand tool woodworking, even power tool woodworking, um, it's bound to give you some inspiration. Um, great, great book. Tom's a great guy. He takes a really uh, more of a philosophical approach to woodworking, which I find um, inspirational in its own way. So um, I'm going to do a quick demonstration. Now the purpose, the purpose of, of your frame saw and your curfing plane in a hand tool workshop is if you don't have a band saw for resawing large pieces of lumber like this piece of curly maple which is about two and a half three inches thick how do you manage it? you can do it with you can do it with a hand saw uh, which takes forever and it's hard to keep the saw straight down through the thickness of the uh, of the board going the full length. So, if you need to resaw, you got a thick piece of walnut, and you only need a half inch, rather than scrub planing, you know, three quarters of an inch off of this thick piece, you can use your frame saw to cut the length of that. So, so I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. I'm going to use a piece of basswood. Um, it's incredibly soft, you know, it, it doesn't give you much of an idea how sharp that saw blade is, but uh, I don't want to waste any of my good hardwood stock for a demonstration. So when we get into more projects later on in more videos, I'll, uh, you know, you'll see me using the saw. So, so I'm gonna use a piece of basswood because it's always nice to have some thin pieces of basswood for carving or whatever you get into. So, so we're gonna cut a piece of that basswood up, and uh, and uh, that should uh, give you a pretty good idea how the curfing plane and the frame saw work together to give you a nice straight ripped piece of uh, stock. So let's dig right into it. 